Gabe and I are doing the presentation of science and non-science of coronavirus fears. Alright, so the beginning of the coronavirus shutdown. When coronavirus first arrived in the U.S., uh, everyone uh, got into a state of panic and we knew, we didn't know what to do. Uh, the governors and the government leaders uh, were all nervous and shut everything down in every state. Uh, the virus uh, caused many people to stay at home and many businesses to close. Uh, first of all, what is the coronavirus? The coronavirus is obviously a type of virus. Uh, but what is a virus though? A virus is an infective agent that typically consists of a nu nucleic acid molecule and a protein coat. It is too small to be seen by light microscopy and is able to multiply only within the living cells of a host. So, the coronavirus attacks our cells and our respiratory system, causing our lungs to be mostly affected. They latch onto the cells and insert their DNA to replicate more viruses. Uh, so, protective equipment. There are measures that people can take to make sure that we can protect ourselves and others from getting the virus. One way that people can protect themselves and others from getting the coronavirus is to wear a mask. It says that masks are 67% uh, effective from getting from giving someone the virus um, social distancing is also very effective for getting the virus um, using a face shield also goes hand in hand with the mask uh, washing your hands constantly is important from to not get the virus and not putting it in your mouth your hands in your mouth some statistics of the coronavirus um, in the United States there's been 9.3 million cases of the coronavirus there's been 231,000 deaths from the virus in the U.S. Uh, there was a 2% chance of someone dying from this virus. Uh, kids under the age of 18 have a 99.9% .9 chance of surviving from the coronavirus. Uh, people from the age of 18 to 40 have a 99.6% chance of surviving from the virus. People from the age of 41 to 45 had a 99.2% chance of surviving from the coronavirus. People from the age of 56 to 70 have a 98% chance of surviving from the virus. Uh, some more statistics. statistics. Uh, people from the age of 70, 70 to 79 have a 92% chance of surviving from the virus. People at least 80 years old and have, have an 85% chance of surviving from the virus. Uh, all these numbers include people with pre-existing conditions, so the numbers for people who don't have pre-existing conditions is a lot better reasons to be afraid of the virus. There are reasons to be afraid of the virus because you can get pneumonia from the virus and it could potentially kill you. Uh, people uh, get heart problems from getting the virus and coronavirus can permanently damage your lungs. Um, it could also affect your immune system, hindering it from, from its ability to fight future infections. Okay. So why lockdowns are bad? When the coronavirus entered the U.S., many states locked down their, their states and made their citizens stay at their house. When governors made the stay-at-home orders, people had to stay in their house, and the only time people could leave their house was to do grocery shopping and pick up food. The lockdown forced many Americans to lose their jobs and caused many businesses to close. Many people were nervous during this time, and alcohol and drug abuse were not during the lockdowns. And all this made the economy decline during the lockdowns. Yeah. And why lockdowns were bad. During the lockdowns, the death rates didn't make a difference to the deaths around the world. And the cases were really high even when the country opened up. And if the lockdowns worked, there would be very small amounts to no cases in the United States. Why people shouldn't be afraid of the coronavirus. In the news, they talk about how the coronavirus is dangerous and we have to wear a mask in public or we, we will get coronavirus. They also talk about the bad parts of coronavirus and it makes everyone afraid because they make it sound like you're going to die if you get it. And if people wash their hands, not touch their face before washing their hands, and social distance, then they probably don't have to be as worried about getting the coronavirus. Another reason why people should be afraid is... And people under the age of 40 have a 99.9% chance of surviving the coronavirus and they shouldn't be afraid of the coronavirus. 
Their products divide to strengthen your immune system. It can help you be able to fight the toilet paper, uh, to fight the coronavirus. Toilet paper is not one of them. Um, and why people shouldn't be afraid of the coronavirus. For people that get severe symptoms from the coronavirus, they have gotten better drugs to be able to kill off the virus. Severe cases of the coronavirus aren't very common, and most people that have symptoms just have a cold. Why overacting to the coronavirus is bad. When the coronavirus came to the U.S., many people were scared and the country got locked down. Lockdown made people stay at home and businesses couldn't go, and, and people couldn't go to see friends, and people could get in trouble for opening up their businesses. The hospitals were used only to take care of coronavirus patients, and people who needed to get surgeries had to wait till the coronavirus wasn't as bad. People lost their jobs, and people lost their businesses, because of the coronavirus, and many families weren't making what they usually would make. People were more worried about toilet paper, kung flu, and grocery stores would be crowded and the virus would spread. There would be arguments at grocery stores and fights would break out when people would go, when coronaphobes would go around and see people without masks on. And some rules that just don't make any sense are that. And I get, we all understand that people in charge want to be able to protect their citizens and help keep them safe. But there's just some rules that are just absurd. And one example of that is when governors made coronavirus rules, they said only essential businesses can open. But in the end, all businesses are essential and people have to make money. And the problem is the government are more worried about the coronavirus than the fact that people can't provide for their families because the government won't let them open up their businesses. California's governor said that people who eat at restaurants have to put their mask on in between bites. This makes no sense that people have to put their mask on in between bites because they're not gonna get, their tables are already socially distanced, so that's really not hurting, um, that's really not helping anything. In Michigan, there was fines would be issued to people who had where they were sitting in their cars listening to their priest do mass at their church. And the governor of New York would put people recovering from, recovering from the coronavirus in nursing homes. And this makes no sense because nursing homes are a hot spot. And old people are most affected by the coronavirus. And lots of one of these patients still have it. In, in Australia, an old woman got arrested for sitting down on a park bench because... Um, Australia has very strict rules where you can only leave the house to walk and you can't sit down. And in conclusion, the coronavirus is a big deal and it's sad all the politics have to get involved into making the decisions. Also, that people would make decisions based on politics more than what is right for the American people. The coronavirus lockdowns affected a lot of people. Many people love to go outside and they were forced to stay inside. And then people lost their jobs and weren't able to provide for their families because of it. And... Those sources. These were our opinions, but they were also supported by sites and books that other people have made. Don't forget to stock up on all this toilet paper and to protect yourself from the Kung Flu.